Hello, in this video we're going to talk a bit about formatting and this is an, an incredibly important topic. We're soon going to look on, we're going to go on to look at the really the fundamental nuts and bolts of programming um, but it's important that we get this right at the start. There are some things that we must get right before we really even begin um, and this is one of them. So let's create a new project. Let's go to File, New Java Project I won't keep doing this with every video, but I'm doing this just a few times because it is important that you remember it and do try it yourself. Let's let's call this formatting and make sure I've got Java 11 selected. Click next, untick create module info because we're not going to use that now. Click finish and right click the project that's been generated and go to new class. Let's give it a class called app and put it in a, pa a package called application and tick to say that I want a public static void main. Click finish. Okay, so we can add some statements to this. Now, I, I want to just point out, um, Java is um, Java is a programming language that has been influenced by various other programming languages. And two particular influences on Java were C and C++. So um, in Java, if we create a statement, let's write sysout hello. So this is a statement. It's kind of one piece of code that does something. And uh, it finishes in a semicolon. And that idea of finishing statements with a semicolon um, comes from C and C++. Uh, maybe there are other languages that use that idea earlier, but as far as Java is concerned, this is a C or C++ thing. And C and C++ were two pro are two programming languages that have been around for absolutely ages and are still extremely widely used. Similarly, these curly brackets, they're a C and also a C++ thing. So they come from these other programming languages, as do many other things in Java. Now, um, there are fundamentally, um, basically two different ways of um, formatting your brackets in these programming languages. So one way is um, when you open a curly bracket like this, like this one here, or this one here, here, um, one style puts each opening curly bracket on its own line, like this. Now you can use that in Java, but um, I don't recommend it because by far the most popular style in Java is to put the opening curly brackets on the same line as um, the sort of code that identifies what's about to happen in these curly brackets. So um, the curly brackets and the code within them, we call it a code block. And code blocks usually have something written before them that basically says what they are or what they do. So we put the, the opening curly bracket on the same line as that bit of code that says basically what's going to happen essentially in, in the code block. Um, so I recommend you use this, use this style and Eclipse makes it easy to type code like this anyway. Um, space doesn't really matter in a Java program. Uh, you can you can put blank lines in. Let's type sys out. How are you? You can put them in where you want them, and you basically just add blank lines for readability. I am a computer, so that will run. And uh, we could also do it without those, without so many blank lines. Uh, on the Mac here, I can use Command D to delete an entire line. And I think on Windows, probably Control D will do the trick. That's a handy shortcut. So put blank lines in and you use space generally to make your program readable. Try Strive always to make your program look beautiful, you know, and look, look um, logical and readable. Um, okay, so uh, we're going to talk about auto-formatting in the next video. 
and we're going to talk about indentation, which is a very important aspect of formatting. So until next time, happy coding.